so another super underrated exercise is gonna be back extensions right on heat, um, right on this machine right here. So you wanna strengthen that posterior chain, make sure that we don't hurt those little muscles in our low back while we're doing heavy squats or deadlifts. This is a must at the end of your uh, lower body leg day back routine. So we're gonna go ahead, get this set up at a nice comfortable height for us. Good, get set. So I want my whole body hanging off right here. It should be sitting right on my hips. So I'm gonna be hanging off. And this is an exercise we don't need a lot of weight for. So just take your time, slow eccentrics, slow concentrics, get a good squeeze on the top, strengthen those muscles. So I'm gonna start from the very bottom. I'm gonna come up slowly. I'm gonna stay right here, go back down. Right here, nice squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Down. If you wanna add resistance, just go ahead, grab a medicine ball, grab a plate. Hold that right here. You can even wrap a band right around here. Wrap it around your neck. Going up. Come back down all the way. Good squeeze. Not hyper extending. So common things to avoid on this exercise, people just go too fast and they go too far up. So if I'm doing these and I'm just jerking myself up, you're just asking to get hurt. And we also don't want to go too far up. So I'm just trying to stay in line with my body. I'm doing a back extension to right here. What I see people doing is going right here. We don't have to do this. If you keep your back straight, engage your hams right at that end, pull with their hammies, then that's a doable option. But people just keep those legs locked, just jerk their body around, end up doing more harm for their low back than good. So biggest benefit of this exercise is to be able to strengthen those uh, posterior chain muscles and make sure that you're safe uh, anytime you attempt any heavy squats, heavy deadlifts, anything like that. For more fitness tips, follow Snap Fitness Bubble West.